Six winds blow as one They will turn the tide We are marching on Standing side by side And we'll carry on Until all the fire's gone blown away Away to lands beyond Hey there guys, welcome to back to the KOH. Now if you can't tell here, I'm gonna dress or actually just fairly alright here it's because today is indeed prom night and considering that I don't have a freaking date and all my friends are complete dweebs, we can make it. So basically, um that's why um Except for me, I'm not a dweeb. Yeah, you're not Okay. So <laughs> we're gonna do give me that look. <laughs> So we're just gonna do a show on um Kuwata Shoujo. I have played like ten minutes into this game actually and um yeah, yeah, so if you're surprised by anything, I'm gonna be just as surprised as you. And I've never heard of this game ever. Yeah, so. A light breeze causes the naked branch overhead to rattle like wooden wind chimes. This is a popular retreat for couples in the summer. This is a beautiful green. This is so beautiful. Actually, it really doesn't look beautiful at all. It's very creepy! The snow is a great retreat for the summer. What? Did you actually say that? Yeah, I said this is a great retreat for summer couples in the summer. And that's snowing outside. Don't you mean it's a good couple's retreat for the winter? Exactly. Since it's or maybe it's the reverse. People are too hot in the summer, so I, they come here to get cooled off. I don't know. But that's that's, that's summer. If you want that, okay. I breathe into my cupped hands and rub them together furiously to prevent them from numbing to ground. Hiss out. Just how long am I expected to wait out here? I'm sure your note said 4 p.m. Ah, uh, yes, that note slipped between the pages of my mind while I was looking. As far as the cliches go, I'm a rough fan letter in the locker, but at least this way shows a bit of initiative. Oh no! This is a Daniel Smirnoff story, isn't it? Oh, it is. As I ponder the mirror and the notes that the snowfall gradually thickens, the snowflake and suddenly something, something bullshit. Does this greatly. Does this, like, explain. Bullshit. Yeah. All it does is, like, explain every single thing that's going on. <laughs> it's like a book, dude, <laughs> which is why I don't read books. Because, like, one page will explain, like, so many detailed stuff that's kind of ridiculous. I turn to face this voice, the voice of my dreams, and my heart begins to race. Caught, boy or girl. Who are we? Boy, I guess. Oh, it's Smirnoff. Nope! We are a girl. Are you sure? Well, just like Smirnoff, because he gave a because she gave a note, then the guy asked the note. But did you give me this note? Okay, his out. Um Okay, you know his voice. That's the boy, right? Yes yeah, the boys. I can't pronounce that name. It's his out. No. Okay. The, girl, the oh, name he's saying. Oh my name is Iwanako. <laughs> okay, you do it. I want to go. I got a new telling me to wait here. But it was you. It was your assistant. Damn it! I spelled all afternoon trying to come with good lines, and that was the result. Pathetic. Um, yes. I asked a friend to give you that note. I'm so glad you got it. A shy, joyous smile that makes me so tense, I couldn't move a single muscle even if I tried. Why is she not wearing a jacket on the snow but the guys? Yes. I have no clue I'm not wearing a jacket. Did I mention I have a deep voice? Yeah. <laughs> my heart is oh, yeah. My heart is pounding now as if we were trying to burst out my chest and claim this girl for itself. See, I think that's the guy you're talking. I will probably get this on. So, uh, here we are on this call. Once again, the wind stirs up the branches. The cockapoo noise is just to my ears. Uwanako flinches ever so softly against the gust of wind. So here we are, boy. As it passes, she writes herself as if supported by a new. It could be a th third, like third, um, third person though. Her know. eyes lock with mine, and she lazily twirls her dark hair. Oh, oh, I am a boy then, right? Yeah, say we're the boy. I call actually, you. Actually, I am the boy. Okay, um, okay. No, I'm the boy. It's already been. Decided. Okay, okay, here, here, here. Sure can do with it. <laughs> <laughs> My throat is tight. I doubt I could even force a word out if I tried. You see? I'm the girl, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted you to know that I'm a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work like that. If you go out with me, this would be pretty fucking gay. 
<laughs> I stand there, motionless, save for my pounding heart. And you're a fucking pussy, so I don't know. <laughs> I want to say something in reply, but I first feel like they're being stretched beyond the breaking point. It's out. You're a fucking pussy. What's wrong with you? I reach up to try and massage my throat with this only since Spike is a plenty pain moment. Haven't you never seen a Shima in your entire life? Piss <laughs> <It's> out! Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, heart peeping in. My whole body freezes, save for my eyes, which shoot open in turn. I don't know what's going on, dude. Is he having a heart attack? Yeah, something? yeah, he's gonna have a heart attack. Ask your girl. You fucking dork. Hisser! The beating of my chest suddenly stops. I go weak at the knees. That goes a little more louder, though. <laughs> the roller rounds, and actually, this right here is like random poetry bullshit, so. No. I do not want to go louder since I'm that calm, cool type of guy. Yeah, calm, dude, your guy freaking passed out of asking oh, out of chick. Heart attack. What's that? You had a heart attack asking out of a chick. Oh, fucking lame are you? And by the way, I have been on dates before, just saying. Four months is pretty long. This is, this is, um, okay, I, I'm just going to guess here. He's a um, socially awkward dweeb who, um, to survive a heart attack. And now he's going to find himself a single way. This probably because my friends admitted it. Something, 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 something. Oh my god, there's so much text! So much! Oh, you, you want to do this? Okay, okay. To do I'm trying my best here. Okay. My parents are here. It's been a few days since I've seen them. Both of them are even sort of dressed up. Is this supposed to be some kind of special occasion? It's not a party. There is this ritual to head in. Cardiologist says he takes his time sorting his papers and sitting on the side to make a point of the pointlessness of what he just did. And he casually says, <laughs> What the, the hell, hell dude? Next to mine. The so show. The eyes for a moment. Don't tell. Hello. Oh, Let's go do the doctor. Huh? Let's go do a doctor. Yeah, hello. Uh, how do you, how do you um, throw K from Star Trek? I don't know. No, my. <laughs> Right. I, I, I'm going to talk to something, uh, I'll, I'll just do more of us. Uh, hello, Hassan, how are you today? I don't know, I don't answer him, but I smile a little back at him. I believe that you can go home, your heart is stronger now, and you're a complete dork for passing for our rascal on a girl, by the way. Um, by the way, um, you're actually getting sorted out, I'm, I'll give your father the prescription. No, so you actually are a complete fucking dork for not asking a girl, by the way. The doctor hands a sheet of paper to my dad. His expression turns one as he reads it quickly. Oh no! My son is a dweeb! <laughs> so many! I'll do the dad. <laughs> I take it from, from his hand and take a look at myself. Really numb. How am I supposed to react to this? I died. Oh, you died, dude. What the freaking heaven? <laughs> he passed out again. Oh my god, so many random. Right the disturbingly long list of medications starting back. You're taking all those medications? The paper seems in insurmountable. They all blend together in a sea of letters. Wow! Dude! He has clinical depression also. Oh my... He has all this. Thanks a lot, it sounds like being this guy. This is insane. <laughs> That's more than fucking insane. You have diarrhea also. Side effects, adverse effects, contra... Addictions and dosages are listing. You have erectile dysfunction. Precision. Yeah. It was like every known disorder in the world. He has clinical depression, <laughs> diarrhea, dyspnea. I see dizziness at the top. Um, bad vision or warf. Um, snarf. You can come. You're secretly snarf in the background. I try to read them, but it's so futile. Erectile dysfunction. <laughs> I can't understand any of it. Attempting to only makes me feel sicker. Erectile dysfunction is repeated twice in this. All this for the rest of my life, every day. <laughs> oh my god, you're so lame. I'm afraid that this is the best thing you knew at this point, you cynical ass fuck. However, new medications are always being developed. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that this fade over the years. You have the, you, you have clear depression, you have gonorrhea. You're gonna die in a couple days. You have oh, but you have cancer. You have a tumor also. Um, 
Yeah, you're, probably, you're also suicidal. You have diabetes at the same time. You also have erectile dysfunction. You only have um, one balls. I recognize you don't have any balls or you have a vagina. Um, you're missing one eye. And um, what else am I missing? I don't know, you, you lost a leg. <laughs> yeah, you lost a leg. Here, so what kind of confidence booster is that? I felt better if I hadn't <laughs> said anything at all. I know. Also, I spoke with your parents, and so we believe that this would be the best if you don't return to your old school. What? One of my colleagues in another hospital is a graduate. I don't care. A person doesn't have to be able to have a disability. That's where disability is. I really hate that something so boring was decided for me. What can I do about it? And normal life is out of the question now. It's funny. I'd always thought my life was actually kind of boring, but now I miss it. I want to protest. I want to blame this lack of reaction on shock or fatigue. They easily I hate this about, kid! Something about how we can go back to school anyway, but no. I don't say anything. The fact is that I know now it's futile. I look around the room, feeling very tired of all this. The hospital doctors. Okay, sure. Everything I don't see, anything that would make me feel any different. There. Where was that one? Where the hell is my thing? What? My mic. Oh, there it is. Whoop! Damn it. Here. There. There really isn't a choice, I know this, but the thought of going to a disabled school. What are those even like? As much as I try to put a positive spin on this, it's very difficult. But let me try. A clean slate isn't a bad thing. That is all I can think of to get me through this. At least I can still have something. Even if it's a special school, it's something, it's a fresh start, and my life isn't over. It would be a mistake to just resign myself to thinking that. <laughs> At the very least, I'll try to see what my new life will look like. Dork. Welcome to is it Yakumo Academy? Yes, I'm going to. Ah, he's a uh, dreamy. And he's holding a heart, so I'm guessing he committed fatality on someone. You went Kano. Yeah, that'd be awesome. The gate looked far too. Pompous for what it was. In fact, gates in general seem to do that, but this one especially so. Dude, what's your deal? What, did you think off? Yeah, because you're sitting on the goddamn thing. Oh, damn, I'm sitting on it. Oops, whatever. Oh, <sighs> Red bricks, black rod on it, and gray plastic. I settled with a whole thing that didn't feel welcoming at all. I wonder if it looked like what the gate for a school should look like. I couldn't really decide. Probably not. Of course, I didn't want to get stuck on this and thinking about the gate for too long, so I entered the right with a brisk pace that felt surprisingly good. Moving forward feels good. You're not moving forward, though. So I walk towards the main building of Yakima Academy with this brisk pace. I'm alone as my parents are taking stuff to the dorms. There's supposed to be someone waiting for me. The grounds are currently lush, filled with green. It doesn't feel like the kind of grounds a school would have. Or like a park with a clean walkway going past trees and the smell of fresh cut grass. Why are you specifying all, all the stuff? Park like things. <laughs> oh my god! Words like clean, hygienic, pop in my mind. Makes me shudder. In other news, I go see myself. I see, um, I have a couch right here that I, that I see Eric. Eric looking at me right now. He is smiling. He has, uh, <laughs> a, uh, he has about like 24 teeth he has in his. He also wearing blue pants and a red shirt. Oh man, this is weird. You know, in my mind, I feel this taste with it. Oh! Now fucking know where that is! That's what I tell myself. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Dickwad! A few big buildings loom, loom behind the leafy canopies. Too big, too many for just a small one. Everything seems off. It's different from what I thought I knew about schools. It's an uncanny valley, even though I was told this is my new school. In the back of my head, it doesn't feel like one. I wonder if the feeling is real or caused by my expectations of this school for the disabled. Speaking of that, I don't see anyone else here. It's kind of eerie. Makes me. <gasps> oh! Oh my! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! 
Oh! Oh! I wish there was someone here so I could anchor myself to something tangible instead of having the feeling that I stepped into another dimension. Trees on with the wind and the green beans flashing all around me catch my attention. How many times are you going to talk about the trees? I know! How long? <laughs> Oh my god! You're going, you're going back talking about the hospitals again! It makes me think about the hospitals again. How they said that the operating rooms are painted green because green is a I color. I swear! Now he's only talking about green. Oh yes, green. Green. See? So why am I feeling so anxious despite all this greenery? Only after I stand on the haunting main building, I suppose we'll see what I'm saying. What the fuck? What the fuck? You're so bitch, you come out the gate? Last chance I had to turn back. Move forward! No, no, no! I'm forcing you to move forward! There! Tall man with bad posture noticed me as I entered. We're the only people in the lobby, so it's only logical. And look, any dickwad who actually uses logical in their words is a complete prick. You're, uh, you must be Nicky! Is that right now? No, Nikai. Oh, you're his how? Wait, no, that means everything he said was on his head! Yeah. Maybe he was standing in place looking around looking at a dick while doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so you are actually. Ah, so you are excellent. I'm your home room and science teacher. My name is Ishmael. Welcome. We exchange a handshake that is neither firm nor sloppy. Shake it! And he looks at his watch. <laughs> it's clobbering time. <laughs> the shared nurse asked you for a brief check in fission. But there's no time for that now. Oh, I should go later. Oh, I should go later? Huh. Yes, I think it's probably fine. We should get going and introduce you to the rest of the class. Just waiting already. Waiting for me? I already like being a for attention, but I guess it's an little situation. Oh, let's fuck you, fuck you, fuck <laughs> you, fuck <laughs> you, fuck you, kid. Oh, uh, I, 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 I'm, I, I, by the way, I have never sworn it this much in a single fucking episode yet. And you know what? This is so. See, this thing's pissing me off so, so much that even my furniture's going out. <sighs> Somehow, no, no, I wouldn't. Disgusting! I'm nervous. <laughs> the youngest <laughs> almost miss when the teacher is saying. You're, so you don't even pay attention. Do you know what to introduce yourself to the clash? Yeah, I do. Pick the obvious one. Pick the most obvious answer right now. Oh my god. <laughs> If you choose Y, oh my god, I'm replacing you with fucking Smirnoff. Yes, of course. Good, damn it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, isn't that normal? <laughs> of course, right? Everyone likes to be the center of attention. I'm probably one of these people, but I guess I should be the one to give the first impression of myself. Right, but it's no problem. Let's go then. My heart is pounding in my chest. <laughs> <laughs> the third, the third down. Yeah, he's gonna say something fucking annoying. The third door down, the third floor corridor is marked as the classroom for class three dash three. When toy opens the door and enters. That painting sucks. Good morning, everyone. Try right again. I hesitate for a split second at the door, freezing on the spot. Ah, uh, get a grip. This is a big step. I know that, but there is. Oh, put yourself down on yourself. About it. At least. Not this soon. What is there to self-doubt about? Walking through a door. You're walking through a door. It's like you've never been in a... Wait, you are a high school student. So you've been through this already. Oh my god, They're I hate this girls. class. They're all girls. No. That, oh, you can't think you all look like girls. But that's the guy wearing... To, the guy okay, wearing green. Guys, guys. guys wear green and yeah. girls wear white. There's only one black chick too. We're dark skinned chicken. There are more girls than guys. How come the one guy right there holding his holding going like He looks like Harahis is a me, honestly. He looks like a girl. 